So you've been hitting the gym like it's your second home, pushing through the most gruelling workouts. You're meticulously counting every calorie and your cabinet is stuffed with every essential supplement the internet has convinced you to buy. But despite all your disciplined efforts, there's that friend of yours who's eating pizza on cheat days and somehow outpacing you and making gains. You're probably thinking, how is this possible? Here's the secret you might be missing. While you're up late, eyes glued to screens or stressing over the perfect diet and exercise plan, your friend is embracing the unsung hero of muscle growth. Sleep, a fundamental pillar, so crucial yet so underestimated that it could very well be the missing piece in your muscle building puzzle. Forget about your protein intake, your workouts and those trendy supplements for a moment. We're about to uncover the science behind how sleep, or lack of it, is fundamentally shaping your fitness journey. If you thought you knew everything about building muscle, prepare to be awakened, cringy pun intended, to the pivotal role sleep plays in amplifying your gains, backed by solid science. The importance of sleep for muscle growth. It goes without saying, but sleep is one of the most important physiological processes for muscle growth and recovery. You may not believe me when I say that it is often overlooked as a critical factor when it comes to maximizing gains. When you undertake resistance type training, you're basically causing microscopic damage within your muscle tissue and cells outside of these muscle fibers come in to repair the damage, thereby creating new protein strands. And when does this process usually take place? While you sleep. Another process that occurs while you sleep is the replenishing of glycogen. Glucose is a type of sugar that's stored in our body and can be broken down for energy. During sleep, glucose is stored in the muscle as glycogen, and as you work out, your glycogen stores deplete. In essence, those who don't get enough sleep may find that their glycogen stores were not maximally restored. In fact, a 2011 study measured reduced glycogen concentration in athletes with 30 hours of sleep deprivation. But what about the effects on muscle growth? Well, a 2010 study found that a lack of sleep had a drastic effect on muscle mass. In this study, subjects were split into two groups, one that slept for 8.5 hours per night and another that slept for 5.5 hours per night. The groups were placed on a regulated calorie deficit and after two weeks, it was found that the sleep deprived group lost 60% more muscle and 55% less fat than the group that slept for 8.5 hours. This study indicates that not only does sleep have a powerful effect on muscle growth, but also the retention of fat mass. A more recent 2023 study confirmed that as the duration and quality of sleep decreased, the fat mass index significantly increased. Additionally, skeletal muscle mass decreased as the quality of sleep deteriorated and despite sleep duration being maintained. So without going into too much detail, we can say that quality and quantity of our sleep play a major part in muscle growth. However, researchers still don't quite understand the mechanisms behind this. Further research has delved into the potential indirect mechanisms that may contribute to this, which we will now explore. Impact on hormones. Sleep deprivation plays a role in affecting the balance of our body's anabolic hormones, like testosterone and IGF-1. Your body releases high amounts of these hormones when you sleep, and when you disrupt that cycle with inadequate sleep, the release of these hormones takes much longer, thereby disrupting the body's ability to repair and build muscle. In fact, one study of healthy young males found that sleeping less than 5 hours per night for one week was linked to a 10-15% to decrease in testosterone. Studies have also found an association between obstructive sleep apnea and reduced testosterone. However, it is not quite clear whether sleep apnea is directly related to these low levels. Sleep also helps to regulate cortisol, which is important in maintaining mass. If cortisol remains high, particularly during periods of sleep deprivation, it promotes the breakdown of protein within the body and inhibits its synthesis with glucocorticoid receptors, which is essential for muscle growth. In a 2021 study, cortisol was found to increase by 21% following a single night of total sleep deprivation. Plasma testosterone levels also reduced by 24% in the same study, while no difference was found in the markers of protein degradation. It was suggested that these acute findings were sufficient to induce anabolic resistance and a procatabolic environment. These changes could also facilitate central and peripheral disturbances such as memory deficits. Additionally, there have been a multitude of studies that have associated partial sleep deprivation with an increase in ghrelin or the hunger hormone, while there was also found to be a decrease in leptin, the hormone responsible for making you feel full. It has been suggested that these changes may facilitate weight gain if persisting over extended periods of sleep loss. Affects protein synthesis. Myofibrillar proteins are the building blocks of myofibrils, those cells that chain together to form muscle fibers. 
New research has shown that insufficient sleep causes disruptions to our circadian rhythm, which is the internal clock within our bodies that regulates cycles of alertness and sleepiness by responding to light changes. The mechanisms underpinning this process is quite complex and often multifaceted so I won't bore you with the details. In essence, this circadian misalignment impedes on skeletal muscle and liver metabolism which in turn shifts the hormonal equilibrium towards more of a catabolic state and subsequently reducing skeletal muscle protein synthesis. If we go back to the study looking at the effects of a single night of total sleep deprivation, it was also found that protein synthesis was reduced by 18%. A further 2020 study assessed the effects of myofibrillar protein synthesis after a period of sleep restriction and exercise. The results found that myofibrillar protein synthesis was lower in the sleep restricted group compared to the normal sleep group. There were no changes in the purported regulators of protein synthesis or degradation in any group. Interestingly, protein synthesis was also significantly lower in the sleep-restricted group when compared with a third group who performed high-intensity intermittent exercise following a period of sleep restriction. This suggests that while myofibrillar protein synthesis is acutely reduced by a period of sleep deprivation, it can be maintained by performing high intermittent exercise. Negative effects on performance and recovery in recent times, there has been increased attention towards the importance of sleep and its role in enhancing metabolic functions, improving energy and moderating the immune system. And let's be realistic, sleep loss is often driven by lifestyle choices that reduce available sleep time, including evening outings or consuming caffeinated beverages. No, I'm not saying that you can't have a night out or enjoy a cup of coffee, but these might be the very things you need to moderate to achieve adequate sleep. But how does this affect performance? Well, a 2022 meta-analysis found that a single night of poor sleep appeared to have a small impact on the amount of weight lifted during complex exercises such as squats, deadlifts, and bench press. This affect also appeared to get larger with repeated nights of poor sleep. The same study also demonstrated that poor sleep decreased the amount of reps performed by about 10%. While this is not a huge difference, considering the trajectory of these studies, you may notice this significantly contributing to a lower training volume over time. Just like muscle growth, muscle recovery is also important for those wanting to maintain their gains, and sleep plays an important role, providing your body with time to adapt and repair from the day's stresses. In a study of sleep-deprived cyclists who performed high-intensity exercise, not only was peak power output reduced 24 hours post-exercise, but cyclists were found to be more sleepier and less motivated to train. A similar study in sleep-deprived rugby players determined a greater performance decline in counter-movement jump distance, as well as slower recovery rates and greater muscle soreness. Additionally, these rugby players were slower in providing word color stimuli responses with many errors noted during the study. This suggests that cognitive impairment affecting memory, executive function and reaction time was also associated with sleep deprivation and can lead to an increased risk of injury. Now that you know just some of the effects sleep can have on your body, it's time to dive into the nitty gritty, how much sleep do you need to build muscle? While this will vary individually, the general recommendation for adults is to have between 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Studies specifically in young adults have shown that sleeping below the recommended range has been linked to decreased muscle strength. But let's just say for whatever reason you're not getting the recommended amount of sleep each night. Can a nap really reverse the effects of sleep deprivation? Well, the research on this has been somewhat varied to say the least, with some authors reporting little to no alerting effects while others indicated elevated alertness levels. However, a 2007 study suggested that a two hour nap after a night of sleep loss restored alertness and performance to a lesser degree. During the nap, subjects had a significant drop in cortisol, and interestingly they recorded a transient increase in cortisol levels during the post-nap period, but this was thought to be an adaptive response to the stress of waking. While this study demonstrated the positive effects of napping, it should not be a substitute for nighttime sleep since it doesn't provide the same effects. But if you're still struggling with your sleep, there are many ways you can improve both the quality and duration of your sleep. Here are just some of the ways you can adjust your habits to maximize your gains. Protein before bed. Research has suggested that consuming protein prior to sleep increases the release of human growth hormone and improves muscle growth. A study found that those who ingested 40 grams of protein demonstrated increased rates of protein synthesis when compared to a placebo group and a group that consumed 20 grams of protein. However, it is still unclear whether this resulted from intake specifically before bed or total daily protein. Improved sleep hygiene. 
Strategies such as avoiding electronic devices 30 minutes before bed, reducing noise and abiding by a consistent sleep-wake schedule were effective at reducing the time taken to fall asleep. Avoid caffeine. Next, you'll probably want to avoid that late night coffee before bed. It has even been proven that taking caffeine 6 hours prior to going to bed reduced total sleep time by 41 minutes. Evening exercise. Traditionally, researchers have suggested that exercising at night may impact on sleep hygiene. However, recent findings have suggested that not only did evening exercise not affect sleep, it also helped people fall asleep faster and spend more time in deep sleep. But in saying that, it's probably best to avoid high intensity exercise at least one hour before bed, as findings suggest that individuals took longer to fall asleep. So before you even think about subscribing for more science-based tips or delving into another one of our deep dives into fitness science, just take a moment. If the clock is telling you it's way past your bedtime, do yourself a favor. Put the phone down, shut the laptop, and go to sleep. Don't let those dreams of a stronger, healthier you just be dreams. Good night, and here's to waking up stronger tomorrow.